Hello everyone and welcome back to another review video and in today's review video I am going to talk you through some new AliExpress items and it's AliExpress booty leggings in seamless and non-seamless and in many different colors. So these leggings are everything if you want to plumb out your booty. Both of the styles is with scrunchy booty and they are gonna make your booty look amazing. So that is what we are gonna cover in today's video. I am going to cover sizing and colors and try on and so on and so on. Everything you need to know. So I did post on my Instagram story this Wednesday a little mini workout coming back from my vacation. You see I have a little bit of a tan now. Uh, wearing this leggings in the seamless version and you know I got a lot of DMs people asking me where are those leggings from because your booty is looking amazing in them so now I'm gonna tell you all about them so I think we're just gonna dig right into it and first we are going to talk about the seamless ones so the seamless scrunchy booty leggings I have them in a lot of colors I have them in even more colors because some of the colors are in the laundry because I've been using them and uh, these are seamless scrunchy booty leggings and they are with the little stiffer type of scrunchy booty but as you will see in the try on you will get a legit scrunch in the booty area except from that they are very plain if i zoom you in very closely you can see like you have the tiniest little it's not contouring but you can see like there is something here that is plumbing up the booty and like emphasizing the roundness of the booty even more but there is no like straight up contouring and I really like this you also have in between the waistband and the pants you have an actual seam and that is pretty much the only seam you have except from the inner seam it's always an inner seam the waistband is a thicker type of waistband that is is giving legit tummy control and as you can see the waistband is kind of wide so this leggings I have all of the colors except from this color in size medium and this beige color I have in size large and I will say that they run true to size so there is no need to size up or down size medium is the perfect fit on me I do even think that I would fit in a size small because you do have a lot of stretch in them but I am going to compare the size large and size medium so you can see how much it's difference in between the sizes and we're also of course going to take the measure so here you can see size large is in the back and size medium is in the front so it's definitely a difference in the sizes I will say size large is too big on me it's not giving me any compression and it's a little bit gap in the waist especially when I'm doing squats so size medium is fitting me perfectly so right across in the waist in a size medium we have 31 centimeters which is 12.2 inches and in a size large we have 33 centimeters which is 13 inches and as you can see both the pants and the elastic band is very stretchy so the blend in these leggings is 95% nylon and 5% spandex you have the super high waist so this high waist is going where my belly button is and it's the perfect type of high waist if I could pick one type of high waist this is the high waist I will pick it's not too high and it's not too low they stay up during squats during high intensity workouts during running like they stay in place through all type of workouts but they are also so stretchy and flexible so you can do yoga or stretching or other type of exercises that is taking flexibility to the extreme so you have a lot of stretch but they also give compression, especially around your booty and your thighs area. You have like this firming type of feeling where they really shape your thighs and your booty. And as you can see in the try on here, the contouring that is not really contouring, but the little shaping around the booty is really doing some plumbing on the booty. And the scrunch is also like separating the cheeks. It really sounds nasty, but making the booty looking this like plum style of booty 
they are long enough in the legs for me and I am 178 centimeters tall. This type of seamless leggings is also like stretching out to the length. So if you are shorter, I don't think you're going to have any problem with them being way too long either. You don't have any muffin top or anything since there is a seamless pair of leggings. I never have muffin top problems with seamless pair of leggings. It's more or less only when there is an elastic band in the top that is digging in. So no muffin top or anything. A question that a lot of you are asking me is if the leggings is leaving like this underbelly type of fluffiness, like you have tummy control in the upper area and then it leaves you with a little fluffiness underneath. Uh, I do not have that problem. I don't have the, that problem in these leggings, but I mean the tummy control is where the waistband is. So underneath the waistband, I will not claim them to give you specific tummy control. So I guess it depends on where they are hitting on your belly if they're going to be compressive or not. The seam in the waistband that goes in between the waistband and the leggings is not digging in or anything. It's a very stretchy seam so you can stretch that seam out as much as you can stretch out the rest of the leggings. What goes for squat proofness, all of them are going on squat proof. And I mean, I don't think I have ever seen a pair of scrunchy booty leggings that is not squat proof. So that is an easy way to make sure that they are going to be squat proof is to just put a scrunchy booty on them. All the different colors are very flattering, but of course the more bright colors, like the super bright colors, is not covering cellulite 100%. You have a little thicker material that is breathable, but since there is a little bit of a thicker material, they do smooth out the cellulites a little bit. So it's not this type of super sheer material. But in the darker colors, if you are insecure when it comes to cellulite and sweat, I would recommend you to go for the darker colors because those are going to cover those insecureness a little bit more if that is something that you're thinking about. This leggings retails on Aliexpress for $14.99 and I also saw now when filming that on Monday they are going to go on sale for $12.59. So honestly I think that these are going to sell out pretty quickly because in my opinion it's a big thumbs up. They are just amazing. It makes your booty look amazing. They are just simply amazing and just the fact that you can use it for all the different type of workouts, even for running and you're not going to feel insecure. It's just perfect if you like scrunchy booty leggings and if you are on the hunt on a seamless pair of scrunchy booty leggings, I will definitely recommend this one. So then let's talk about the non-seamless scrunchy booty leggings. And these leggings I have in size small and the reason why I have them in size small and not medium is because my experience with non-seamless scrunchy booty leggings from all Express is that they are a little bit bigger in the size. The thing is that when we are looking at them like this they look tiny but they are very 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 stretchy and I can say like for me I think size small is the perfect fit because they are giving me some compression and I do not constantly have to take them up because when I have been trying non-seamless scrunchy booty leggings from Aliexpress before in size medium and large because I was insecure about the sizes I found myself that first of all they are not doing like a scrunch in the booty because the scrunch is a little bit loose when I'm sizing up and also I find myself constantly taking up the leggings because they are going down. This I have fixed by taking them in a size small. So I have all the colors in size small because I wanted all the colors to fit me perfectly and they do fit me perfectly. So. It feels a little bit weird to take the measures in the waist because it's very misguiding, I think. Uh, you find my exact measures in the description box down below. So go and check those out and compare to your own measures. And then size small is fitting me perfectly. So if you have the same measures, don't go for size medium, even if the size guides on Aliexpress is saying that you should go for a larger size because it's when I have been going after those measures that the size guide on Aliexpress is telling. They say that I should have a size large, but size large is way too big. So in the waist, we only have 26 centimeters, which is 10.3 inches, which sounds very small, but my friends, they are super stretchy and it's the perfect fit for me in size small. 
So here we have a leggings that looks a little more like a pant. So if you're not into seamless or if you want something that looks a little more like an actual pant, these are perfect. So they do have a middle seam and honestly I am a little bit conflicted about this middle seam thing. I do love leggings that has no middle seam because you have no problem with camel toe. But the problem that I found also is that no middle seam leggings it's also very similar to seamless leggings. So it doesn't give you the option of having a pair of leggings that looks a little bit more like pants if you take out the middle seam. I hope you understand me what I mean. So with that being said, you can get a little bit of camel toe if you are dragging them up a little bit too high. I can feel like I can get a little bit of camel toe, not too much because the seam is still stretchy, but it can happen since there is a middle seam. I like to have the option to choose a leggings that do not have middle seam also. I like to have different options. So I guess it goes down to do you like middle seam or not. I don't mind, but I also love no middle seam leggings. I like to have all different options. In this leggings, I didn't mind that they had the middle seam. They also are high in the waist, the perfect high waist, and they have no elastic band or anything in the top area, so they do not leave you with any muffin top or anything. In size small, they stay 100% in place on me. I do not have to take them up, and the scrunch is going on perfectly around my booty area. And except from the scrunch, they are 100% plain. There is no extra seams, no contrast, no nothing it's just a plain pair of leggings with the scrum shibuti and they are going on full length on me as you can see and what goes for squat proofness all of the colors goes on squat proof but the very bright colors do show cellulite so if the cellulite makes you feel very insecure maybe the super bright colors is not your cup of tea uh, I will not claim them to smooth out the cellulites in the super bright colors I'm just going to be 100% honest. The darker colors are smoothing out a little bit, but the brighter colors you can see the cellulite peeking through a little bit. I have just come to the term where I am feeling like I don't care. If I have cellulite, I am a woman, I am going to have cellulite, most of us have it. I am just going to feel proud of my body anyway, but I have the biggest understanding if you feel insecure wearing leggings that shows your cellulite. So if you are one of those, go for the darker color. When it comes to compression, I will not say that they give super much compression. It's not a compressive type of leggings. So if you are on the hunt for a more compressive type of scrunchie booty leggings I would recommend you to go for the seamless ones these are more on the thinner type of material more like lululemon a lion I'm so tired to say that but it's more like that type of fabric that doesn't give so much of a compression but these stays 100% in place that lululemon a lion does not always do that um, so in my opinions, these are the perfect type of non seamless scrunchy booty leggings that looks awesome during every day also, not only in the gym. I have been wearing this so much both in the gym and also on an everyday and I like the feeling that my booty is looking like it it's popping also on an everyday so I really really like this ones I definitely give them thumbs up and they also retails for only $14.99 and I saw that they are also going to go on sale on the summer sale that is starting on Monday so what you can do if you want to wait for the sale is that you can click on the links down in the description box and then you can put them in your cart and then whenever they go on sale you just click them because I think that these are going to go pretty quickly honestly since they have been so requested. So both of them are amazing. If I have to pick one of them it's very hard because I like to have the options both seamless and non-seamless. So I have a hard time. I, th I think it depends on what you are going to wear them for. If you want more compression go for the seamless. If you want more everyday go for the non-seamless. If you want a combination go for one pair of each or maybe a few colors of each. Yeah 
So as always, you find all the information, all the links, my measures and everything in the description down below. So don't forget to check the description. And as I've been saying a million and ten times before, the sizing, the quality and everything is for the specific store that I have linked down below. So I cannot say that the same thing goes for other stores, even though they are using the same pictures, because I've had that experience a lot that the same stores are using the same pictures, but when I compare them, they can be completely different in sizing and in the quality and the seams and everything. So what I've been saying today is going only for the store that I've linked down below. So with that being said, my friends, this is the end of today's review video. I hope that you did like it. I hope that you did like my vlog that I post this Wednesday. It was a very long time since I posted a vlog, but I did post a vlog where I was doing a vlog during my Cyprus vacation and also a behind the scene during my vacation photo shoot on Cyprus. So go and check that out if you haven't already. And also make sure to go in and check my Instagram. There you find mini reviews, you find mini hauls, unboxing. I put up some stories there and a lot of photos from my photo shoots. So make sure to be friends with me on my Instagram also. And I hope I'm gonna see you there and in my next video. But until then, take care and bye.